And developing back home tonight, investigation is underway at Frederick County Public Schools in Maryland. Yeah, a high school player there is accused of using the N word, and it was all caught on camera. Our Cheyenne Corinne is live at the high school. And Cheyenne, you spoke with a parent that claims this is not the first time the student has been caught using racial slurs. I did, Chris. So at FCPS, they say that this student athlete who was caught on video using the N word multiple times is no longer a part of the JV football team here at Governor Thomas Johnson High School. But a parent I spoke with whose son is on the team says that something should have been done sooner. I was just actually with some of the players. I mean, they're very, very happy that somebody spoke up. Very happy, and that's just all we can really be for our kids. We have to be their voice when people don't listen to them. But what's worse is, as an adult, they didn't listen to me either. On Facebook, the sister of sophomore JV player Joseph Travis shared videos of his teammate repeatedly using the N word. In that post, she says their mom reported this player's hate speech weeks ago to school officials, but says that nothing was done. I feel disrespected, and like the fact that he's comfortable using it over and over again, and then with the hard R, and then not only uh, addressing people with it, is definitely a problem. Joseph says it all began two weeks ago when that same student sent a voice recording in a group chat saying the N word. He says last night there almost was even a fight over this teammate's behavior. If it wasn't for yesterday and like, uh, like evidence of videos getting out there, I don't think that this would have ever been addressed and he still would have been using it. Following the incident, the principal sent a letter to the school community saying that he will be subject to appropriate school discipline as well as any related criminal charges. But the sheriff's office say that no charges will be pressed because the student didn't make any direct threats. The board president and superintendent also released statements condemning the student's actions. So I want to say to our student athletes, we will do everything to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future. Uh, but if it does, we will deal with it swiftly and make sure that you are safe. Now, Travis told me that the mom of that athlete that was caught on camera multiple times saying the N-word is actually the team mom, and she says she thinks that that's part of the reason why nothing was done sooner. Now, I did try to reach out to her, but did not hear back. Now, because of this incident, Joseph actually cleared out his locker today and is transferring schools. I'm here in Frederick County, Maryland. I'm Cheyenne Corrine for DC News Now.